Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic, and when we left it last time, we were talking to some dude who came in to tell us that the ship we're on is being attacked, as if we couldn't guess. So, here we are. Dialogue! I love dialogue. Ah, uh, so, we can go with Who Are You? Yes, I know how to play this game, thank you. We can also hit the number keys on your keyboard, I think. Um, or oh, the End Aspire? Hmm. Well, I think we can assume that the End Aspire is the ship, so... We'll go with who are you? I'm Trask Olgo. Are you? Ensign with the Republic fleet. Bit old I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. Really? We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Well, that's convenient. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. What he doesn't realize is that we work opposite shifts because his feet smell. Um. Ah, uh, now, here you see. Oh, uh, we now hit. Um. One of the moral choices, I suppose. Oh, excuse me. Uh, one of the moral choices um, in this game. Um, and there's one thing that, I th that, as I recall, this game has been criticised for, and in fact, let's be fair, many Bioware games get criticised for, and I think it is a fair complaint, um, is that a lot of the times uh, the choices are very black and white. Right, so, who's Bastila? Showing concern for someone else, that is obviously the light side choice. Or, forget it, I'm looking after my own skin! Is quite obviously the dark side choice. Um, it's, again, it's been a little while since I've played it, but I do recall uh, that the dialogue and the um, moral choices, I suppose, are a bit more nuanced in uh, Knights of the Republic 2, which, as a quick aside, is you need the um, restored content mod to really enjoy that game properly, um, believe me. Um, but anyway, we are playing Knights of the Old Republic 1, and we are... Uh, yes, we are going to be a good guy, sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. We're not going to do a Dark Side playthrough, um, unless the Dark Side choice happens to be really, really funny. Um, but no, we are going to be a goody-goody, so who's Bastilla? Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, that's convenient. Well, not an officer, wait, really. Wait, wait a minute. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy well, attack. I thought captains went down with you a ship. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. I did Now it's time thing. to make good on that oath. I've heard all Bunch. about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Mm -hmm. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. Really? But all that Ooh. potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Um. Bastel is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Okay. So, again, we have another very black and white choice. Oh, so, no, so I'm heading to the escape pods. Um, the thing is, it doesn't matter, ultimately. You can only go one direction, because... Well, anyway, but we are gonna say, okay, let's go help Bastila. So hurry up and grab your she gear. She better be hot. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Fortunately, I can vaguely remember how to press play this game. So what I'm gonna do to save it doing is I'm gonna go to the options. So all this crap pops up. So we have the map screen, which can be a very um, useful. Got the quest screen. Um, anything that is boarded in purple. Uh, are new things, so new quests or, as I'm sure we'll... Ooh! Dialogue um, thingy. Very nice. Ah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, um, anything new, so any new quests or we'll just get to it now. Oop, one more. Um, any new inventory uh, items, which is cool. Um, anyway, uh, this is where we can check out skills and feats. Um, See how we're doing. Uh, this is us in our space pajamas. Uh, with our character sheet, I have 11 hit points. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we did infantry and yep, yep, the equip screen. Okay, so let's grab some stuff. Uh, get items. There you go. And as you can see, all our new infantry, uh, inv yeah, inventory uh, stuff is highlighted in purple. I've selected it all. Oh, no, it isn't. How exciting! So let's equip some stuff. Yeah, I know how to do that. Shut up. Clothing. Uh, anything else? That's boring. Oh, well, we could shoot stuff, but we're not gonna. Short sword. Alrighty. Now, you can dual wield um, melee weapons, or, you know, uh, swords and such like in this game, but if you don't have the... Oh, where is it? There we are, feats. The... 
you can at least show them to me, damn your eyes. Um, if you don't have uh, the dual wheel feet, then you'll get a quite a hefty um, two hit and uh, damage uh, penalty for it. But, uh, yep, I'm going to be a melee sort of dude. Um, right. Let's talk okay, to Trask. Let's move out. Yes, we let's. Stick together. Why? You'll have more oh, success yeah. with a party than on your own. That's a good point. I can put you in front of me and you can take all the bullets. Baha. <laughs> Trask has joined my party. Yay, yeah, we know. Um, so you eventually get uh, nine um, possible party members. You can only take two at any one time, which is something of a shame because some of their banter can be quite entertaining. Having said that, nine, but you may, is very possible to only end up with seven. Um, and uh, when we get to those bits, I'll, uh, yeah, we're happy with them. Um, I'll, uh, point out the moments where you could potentially uh, miss a party member. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. Is it? But don't worry, I've got the override code. Oh, how can you? Wait a minute. Me to unlock hold on, the door. hold on, hold on, hold on. Indeed. Now, um, sorry, if this room is in lockdown, how... Oh, yeah, he's got the override codes. Duh. Sorry, I was being silly. Okay, fortunately, I know how to do this. Uh, we... So we got down here. What? Okay, uh, we'll get to some of the stuff in a minute. But this is going to be your party. Um, when we have the full party, uh, there'll be do there, do there. You can obviously select between what? party members to use their necessary skills. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you to. Uh... Oop. Yes, I know how to walk. This is Cardinal Nasty. Oh, hello. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. Oh no! We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. Wow, that's convenient. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Empire Spires crew put together. Good God. He says that things green? are bad. You better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's yes. a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. <laughs> Yeah, don't foreshadow things too much, would you? <laughs> Trask me old chum. Um, alright, various things. You know I mean? Yo! That door is locked. I don't have the codes uh. to open it. But switch me to the okay. party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. Okay, sounds good to me. Switch. Um, oh, I'll tell you what. Yes? If I move my ugly mug out of the way, I'll make this. A bit easier. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, when you come up to um, various uh, in-game things, doors, uh, crates, droids, even, uh, often get uh, several options. Uh, very, uh, you can sort of see the console design uh, philosophy in it because I mean this is a lot easier. Um, it, it seems to me this would be a much more sensible design choice uh, for a gamepad. Um, but you know what? I think that's probably why I quite like this game. Um, it's sort of that. Well, uh oh! Oh look! It's Corporal uh -oh. Scrooge. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for, for the, the Republic. Republic. Please be to the Emperor, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I think, I think that's the thing with this game. It's it's an RPG for people who were never really into RPGs, I suppose, which is why I like it. So anyway, yes, we're now in combat, and when you're in combat or at any time, you can pause the game. Um, that allows you to uh, pick who you're going to attack or whatever. Yes, I know, shush. Um, so Trask is going to happily take up one of them. I'm going to go kill this. Boom. <laughs> No. Oh, I've got a Get feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. You think? Good this is a war, you fool. To heal our wounds. Oh yeah. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Yes. Good idea, Trask. Uh, except I don't need one, so that's all good. Uh, any corpses worth looting? No. Shame. Uh, da -da 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 Blah! Fortunately, there we go. Right. 
Yeah, all right. Shush. I just want to kill this guy. Thank you. There we go. Fortunately, the Sith can't shoot for Smeg. Ooh. Ooh. And proper armor at last. Okay. Got a long shot, another short sword. And some frag grenades. Ooh, very, very good. Um, okay. So, just to sort of um, show you. Uh, okay, some damage, but uh, the to hit has gone from uh, plus three uh, to minus seven and minus three. Uh, which is. Uh, whoops. Not really what you want, so I'll just change that to a long sword and I'll put on some proper armor. Actually. Oh, good, yeah. Um, and nothing else. I've got. Uh, mm, yeah, okay. And also down here. Sorry, I forgot about this. Um, you'll have various uh, things you can use. Uh, now, in here, we'll go um, personal shields. Uh, we'll come to those later. Um, various buffs or whatever, healing, and then when you finally get them, force powers. Oh, shush, I know what to do. But just have a quick mini med pack thing. Anything else in here worth looting? Oh, yes, there's a crate over there. Oh, and a corpse I'll look at. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good lord. Come on. Sorry, you looks a bit of a while. Yay, more grenades! Uh oh. Oh, well done. Yeah, one thing I will say for the Sith, though, yeah, they may be a. Uh, um, you know, a brutal, dark side worshipping, conquering power with a distinct disregard for life and property and all that jazz, but at least they give their soldiers better armour. Boom! Oh yeah! Doink. Whoa. Oh yeah! You throw it and it turns into a an angry blue dude and it you know makes me explode and release little creatures. Uh, hmm. Well it does stuff. Ooh. Uh -oh. Ooh. That sounds bad. Let's just run away from that. Bravely. Am I going the right way? Ah, yes, there we go. Here we go. It's Dark Jedi. Oh. This fight is too much for uh -oh. us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Oh, what? That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. You're kidding me. An epic. Uh, an epic life or death struggle, and she gets killed by a. That's technically. Yeah, we'll leave that as one. Uh, 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 stupid. Oh, well. <laughs> 